Hi guys, so in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to implement speech to text in Flutter. So let me show you a demo. So here is the app been running on my physical device. You can see over here. So here, if I press on this mic button, it will start recording and it will record each and everything I speech now. So you can see. So let's understand how we can implement this in Flutter application. So let's get started. Okay, so now in my Android Studio IDE, I have created a new Flutter project and here I have removed the default code and simply replaced it with a scaffold widget which simply contain a children that is text widget and a circle avatar and it is not functioning anything for now. Okay, so to implement speech to text, we are going to make use of a dependency called as speech to text. So just open first specification.yaml file and under dependency section, you just need to add it. So add here speech to text. Okay, so this is the dependency that we are going to make use of to convert our speech to text. Okay, so just add it and hit the pub get button. After doing that, you can, there are some configuration uh, that needed to be done in Android. So just an open Android module, go to app uh, build.gridle file. Over here, search for default configuration. And here you just need to change your minimum SDK to 24 over here and targeted SDK you must give it as 32 just change this okay so once this has been done there is some uh, permission that is needed to be added like we are going to make use of mic to listen to our speech so just go to app folder sources main in android manifest you just need to add use this permission so just enter use this permission and here you just need to add record audio so you just need to add this permission and with this, we also need a permission to use Bluetooth uh, because this dependency makes use of some speech to text for dependency on Bluetooth. So you just need to add it. So if you read this dependencies requirement, you can just get it from there. What are permissions you need to add over here? So these are the two permissions you need to add. So now let's go to Flutter application and give functionality to this button to record a speech to text. So now over here, uh, we must create an instance of speech to text dependency that we have just installed. So here just search for speech to text. So by doing this, it will just automatically import these packages. Uh, in this file you can make use of them give this instance name or you can just name it anything so here i'm going to make use of this function so now by making use of this i can invoke my speech and start recording so let me show you how so before that i need to ask user to use his mic uh, feature okay my device physical device so here i just need to check it and as soon as our application starts in any state okay so here i will just create a function uh, I can name it as check mic and then here I can just give or create a function check mic and this function will be a sync type and then here I just need to make use of boolean variable boolean uh, mic available speech text dot initialize and I just need to add a await key over here. So by doing this, it will just invoke the mic feature and it will just ask the user to access the mic. Okay. And depending on user action, if the user has accepted the permission, then you can just perform the mic or you can just start the recording. So currently I am just printing a log over here. Okay. Because I'm just checking if the user has uh, given the permission to use the mic or no. Okay. So this is just for that purpose. Okay. So now let's come to this icon where I want to just uh, tap on this icon and give some functionality. So for this, I just need to wrap this circle avatar widget with a widget called as uh, gesture detector. So by doing this, we can just uh, perform some gestures like on tab and just check the user action. Okay. So here I will just convert this on tab function to a sync. Okay. So now over here we have created a variable there are two variables so i have not created so i need to create it so here i will just create a variable by name is listening and initially i will just set it to false and this i can use to uh, trigger this uh, mic icon okay or start the recording okay so let me do it over here if is listening if it is true then I need to start the recording else I need to stop the recording. Okay. So here I can just give a reverse functionality. Okay. So what this happens is if it is false. So initially it is false, right? So it will just reverse it to true. Okay. So now it is 
uh, false so it will just convert it into true by this icon this one this symbol it will just reverse it so now i can just start the recording over here so let me do that now so here i can just create a variable available or else i can just take the code that i have created over here that is initialization okay so i can just uh, copy this code and paste it over here and here again i'm just adding this if condition because what happens if uh, the user has not uh, granted the permission over here and he just reject it he can when he press on this button he need uh, the permission need to be asked to him again okay so just for that i'm just con adding a if condition over here okay so now here i will just set the is listening to true okay so this i am doing because i want to change the icon when the user press on this button okay so i am just making use of this variable to change the icon so let me show you so here circle avatar is there if this is true then it means that recording is started okay so i just need to change it to recording icon icon of icons dot recording voice recording else i can just show this symbol okay so let me refresh this application and let me show you what happens okay so let me click okay so you can see it is asking me a permission to access the grant to start the recording recording permission okay so now i can you can see the icon is getting changed okay and here i am just changing it to true so now here i need to uh, make use of this instance to start the recording okay so for that speech to text dot there is a method called as listen by which the our mobile device will listen to our speech okay so this is the main thing over here so here listen for duration here you just need to add a duration for how much time it should listen to your voice so duration i will just give seconds of 20 seconds and after listening for 20 seconds it should print the data over here or during the recording it should print the data in this text so for this there is a property called as on record on result sorry so here result set state text that we have created above i think so i created no i have not created it okay so i'm just printing the text over here so i'll just create a variable over here variable text and i'll just copy this and paste it over here okay and the same variable i can use in the text widget okay so now i want to change this text whenever the recording has been completed so text is equal to result dot recognize sorry recognize word like this and immediately when the recording stop i need to make this listening listener is listening to false again okay so that this icon get changed again okay so now let's check if this is working or no okay i'll just refresh the application so now i will just press on this button and it will just start the recording hi guys welcome to protocolers point please do subscribe protocolers point yeah so there is some mistake i think so hi guys welcome to protocolers point so i think so there is some mistake that has been done okay yeah fine okay so i have not used this else statement so what is happening as soon as the recording has been started the is listening is getting stopped okay so i will just comment this thing and let's check the output now hey guys welcome to protocolers point okay uh, so there is some mistake so i need to use this uh, else statement also so over here i need to use set state property set state and i need to make this is listening false and i need to stop the recording speech to text dot stop okay so now let's check if this is working or no so i'll just start the recording let's check if it works then it's good hey guys welcome to protocolers point okay so i need to stop this application completely so that whatever update i have updated it should be fully implemented over here so sometime if we make use of re uh, refresh or reload it will not work perfectly fine so i'll just stop it and restart it again okay so app got installed hey guys welcome to protocolers point so this is the testing of speech to text okay so you can see it is recording so that's all for this video tutorial you can get the source code on my website protocolerspoint.com you can just get it from there so thanks for watching please do subscribe protocolerspoint thank you